Hello, I'm Eric Sorensen, author of Sorensen's Guide to Powerboats. We're at the Grady White plant in Greenville, North Carolina, to take a look at a few just completed boats being readied for shipment. Grady White has built thousands of boats over the last five decades in what is now a modern 320,000 square foot manufacturing facility. The company has earned an enviable reputation for its high quality boats and also for the strong customer support provided by its dealer network. If what a boat builder's customers have to say is any measure of its success, then the array of J.D. Power & Associates trophies behind me speaks volumes. Let's go take a look at the Express 305. Now this is one of the larger models in Grady's lineup from 18 to 36 feet, and it shares the same CV2 hull, which was designed by C. Raymond Hunt & Associates, the same hull as the 30-foot center console sister ship. This boat has the speed, the range, storage capacity, and comfort to let you expand your horizons and see some new sights. The transom seat, which is patented by Grady White, very easy to lower, and you'll notice that it has a nice thick cushion. It's padded, it's soft, all the way around the perimeter so that you can lean up against it. And also the supports double as handholds, so you can sit down on the seat and you have something to hang on to. You can reach the stern cleats right from inside the cockpit. They're also recessed down low here so that you're not as liable to snag them with a fishing line. The uh, battery switches are right here, right behind the door, so they're convenient and easy to get to. Over here to the starboard side, also conveniently located, the shore power hookup right by the transom door. The non-skid is grippy underfoot. You're not gonna find yourself slipping on it, and yet it's easy to hose off. You can clean it with a sponge, and you can also kneel on it comfortably. The large flush scuppers, two of them per side, drain completely and drain quickly right over the side. To either side we have two rod holders to port and two more to starboard in the gunnel, three rod racks each side below horizontal racks. There's also plenty of tow kick space below the gunnel and a tow rail. Back aft here is a 304 quart insulated fish box, which is big for which you can order an optional chill plate refrigeration, which can turn it either into a refrigerator or a freezer, depending on where you set the thermostat. You can see here a freshwater shower, so it's convenient, easy to rinse off after a dip. Back here, the transom door, it's made out of closed molded fiberglass, very strong, very rugged, as is the hardware that supports it. Look at the size of those hinges holding this door on, and the latch, just as strong. The boarding ladder, it's just as easy to reach from somebody, by somebody in the water as it is from inside the boat. Now this 305 was ordered with a pair of Yamaha F350 four-stroke outboards. Twin 250s and twin 300s are also available. And all these Yamaha power options provide clean and quiet power and plenty of range with the boat's 290 gallon fuel capacity. The hardtop is standard on the 305 and it provides good shelter from the elements. There's a ventilating hatch overhead. There's also a radio or storage box. Rod holders on either side, they're easy to reach, and spreader lights up top here. Forward in the cockpit to port is a 73 quart cooler under the aft facing seat here. Tackle storage down below here, a shower and switches for various components. On the starboard side is a 32 gallon live well with an 1100 gallon an hour circulating pump. It's got Grady White's full column distribution system that distributes the water circulates it nice and gently. On either side in the cockpit are big molded steps. They make it easy and safe to get forward from the cockpit and also to get back down again, especially when you're handling dock lines. Now the helm on the 305 is designed to provide the skipper a good all-around view from center line. It's up nice and high, good sight lines, good situational awareness on both sides of the boat. It's also a nice layout for socializing since you have seating to port and starboard surrounding the helm and the storage space below the, the outboard seats. An adjustable helm seat with a pedestal is standard. It adjusts up and down and adjusts fore and aft to accommodate people of different sizes. Now this 305 was ordered with an optional seat with a flip up bolster. Gives you a little bit more room when you're standing to run the boat. Excellent sight lines as I mentioned. The ventilation is excellent through the side windows and if you open up the canvas forward, Cream colored dash minimizes glare, helps you to see better, especially at night. Cup holders all around, hand holds. Just a joy to run a boat from this helm. The wheel, it's got a nice soft spoke. It's at the right height and at the right angle, just like the throttle is. 
And over here we have an electronics box that opens up with a push of a button. And what I like about this is you've got plenty of room for electronics here and you can adjust the height of it and the angle to suit your height and whether you're seated or standing. And at the end of the day, you can lock your electronics right up and make them more secure. Now up forward, there's a one-piece stainless steel bow railing, an anchor pulpit, and a windlass with foot switches forward and a rocker switch control at the helm. A big hatch in the middle of the front cabin forward opens to scoop fresh air into the cabin below. Now let's have a look at the cabin on the 305. First thing to notice is how wide the companionway is. And this theme of large proportions and spaciousness continues down below with lots of headroom and long comfortable berths. There are handholds on either side of the door and large molded companionway stairs leading down below with a gentle rise and run that's comfortable and safe. There's plenty of headroom down here in the cabin. There's a nice teak and holly sole, cherry accents on the side around the galley area and this beautiful cherry table here at the forward dinette. A cherry table lowers to convert the dinette to a double bed. Back aft is the mid-cabin berth, which also sleeps too comfortably. The galley has a Corian countertop with a stainless steel sink with vertical sides to resist spilling, a refrigerator, microwave oven, and a glass top electric stove with touchpad controls. The head is large and well equipped with a vacuum flush head, 10 gallon holding tank, and pump out standard. This Grady White 305 is just about ready to ship to Michigan. Now we know how Grady Whites do out on the ocean, so I guess it's look out Great Lakes, you've met your match. Wherever you live, your best source of information about the Grady White lineup is your Grady White dealer. You can find out the name and location of your dealer as well as boat specifications, performance data, and options at GradyWhite.com. Be sure to ask your dealer to show you how this Grady compares directly with other boats in its size range. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the water.